Why this way? Oh. Okay, let me try one more time. Just your trust. Oh. 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 The best of the rest. The brand new series with an ultimate test. Take one player who's the only in this nation. See who the best, then we say congratulations. So really quickly before the epi starts, I just wanted to explain the intro. I just want to make clear that I do know that Japanese culture and Chinese culture are two separate things. The reason I'm training in the dojo with Podolsky is because he is in Japan. I'm currently in Cologne paying tribute to him. And then Zhang Yuning is the only Chinese player. So I just wanted to make clear that Japan and China are two very different cultures and countries. So I just wanted to say that before the epi starts because I know maybe someone would say something in the comments. But that is thematically why I did the intro the way I did. But anyway, boys. Cuttlefish! Purchase your tracks today. Well, something, boys, and welcome China. to the best China. of the rest of brand new mini series episode again. Well, something, boys, and welcome to the best of the rest, a mini series that I was thinking about doing for quite some time that honors the rest of the world players, those forgotten FIFA players that are part of the rest of the world and we have no idea what they actually are. So in FIFA, there are exactly eight nationalities. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe you guys could do some research, but I only found eight countries where there is only one player represented in Ultimate Team. So basically what we're gonna do is across seven or eight episodias, uh, if you guys wanna continue seeing it, of course, um, we are gonna be using one player representing the only nation that he has in uh, in Ultimate Team. So for example, in this episodia, we are starting off with Yuning Zhang, a 20-year-old Chinese player who is the only Chinese player in all of FIFA 17. So basically the aim of the series is to figure out who is what even is this, bro? So basically the aim of the series at the end of the eight episodias, which is how many nations there are that have exactly one player representing uh, them in Ultimate Team, we'll have a table with goals for, goals against. It's three points for a goal, uh, one point for an assist, and then at the end we will tally it up to see who is the best one player nation. Now I thought a best of the rest is the nice, uh, is a pretty sweet name for the series. There's also one nation man or something like that, but maybe you guys let me know since this is the first episodia, I'll give it my title for this one, and then maybe you you guys come up with something crazy in the comments. If you guys do enjoy this idea for a mini series in FIFA 17, hit that like button. Let's try and crush 5,000 likes for the first epi in this series. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. But let's meet our first One Nation player, and that is Zhang Yuning, a 20-year-old Chinese player who I believe in 2015 signed for West Brom and literally was with them for 24 hours before he was loaned out to Werder Bremen, where he is currently at. The only thing really that he's got going for him on his card is a five-star weak foot, does not have any stats uh, that lend themselves to being a good striker whatsoever. We've surrounded him with some Bundesliga talent. Fortunately for him, he does have a Bundesliga card, uh, which means we could put together this Bundesliga side around him. It's not the most beastly, but it definitely is pretty nasty. We've got a bumming on seven Chem up there at left forward. We've got uh, we've got Pulisic, we've got Sebastian Rudi, and then as well we've got a bunch of other beast players. Let's get to match number one. Let's see how China performs. And of course we are rolling with the China. Uh, of course we're rolling with the China kit. We have the home and away China kit. Actually one of the nastier kits in FIFA. And then in match number one, it is not going to be easy. Zhang Yuning, I don't know what to expect from you, bro. I like it. <laughs> okay, so 73 strength, he has one green, 71 heading accuracy, shot power 71, finishing 66, I guess could be worse, but like I said, the main thing on this card is the five star weak foot, means he can pretty much shoot as good as good with his left as he can with his right. <sighs> Let's see if we can even give him a chance in front of the net. Brilliant! Come on! Okay, wait, does that count as an assist? I don't think that's an assist. We're still at zero points. Zhan Yuning, come on, bro. Zhan Yuning, the ball roll of dreams. And, uh, dude, to be fair, that was a nice little effort. For 63 finishing, that was not a bad little effort. Yes, I expect that to go in. But uh, I don't think we get the one point for the assist there. Because it did go off the post. Shit. Yo, Zhang is just getting started, bros. This is my favorite part, right here. <laughs> He's in the wall. Take <laughs> China. 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 Let's go. China. Three points. China. China. Three points for China, and it doesn't look like he's getting up. 
<laughs> Yo, Zhang Yuning. Great, dude, to be fair, a great little finish. China. Oh, oh! China. Three, China. two, six China. points for China, China bro. China. He is warming up. China. He is just getting started. China. 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 Oh my God, bro. I'm trying to sort out my EA Lounge Pass for Gamescom. And these freaking cunts, dude. That's what I'm talking about, 4-3. Wait, that counted, right? 4-3, boys, let's go. Honestly, couldn't have had a better start. Yes, we could see the three goals, but we could not have had a better start. With uh, with Zhang Yuning, six points for China. Match number one, boys, and we get six points with Zhang Yuning representing China. We have two games left to play, um, and if we were to say one negative thing about this side, he should have had three. He could have had himself the hat trick, conceded three goals. I'm gonna attribute one of those to just being a little bit lazy and being distracted by sorting some stuff for Games Pond, uh, Gamescom. But let's get to match number two. Let's see if we can add three or six more points to the goal tally. Match number two, we're coming up against the Italian trio. Well, a full, pretty much a full Italian side. He's got El Sharawi, the SBC, sorry, the foot birthday uh, El Sharawi. He's got Balotelli and he's got Pirlo at Cam. Not often you come up against a uh, an opponent confident enough to run that Pirlo card at Cam. Shinji, come on, boys. Warrior of the night. Woo! Come on. Yo, Aubameyang, what is his header rating? I don't score any header goals in FIFA, and he put two in in two matches already? Freestyle. Rock the microphone. Stop it, stop it. Stop it. Straight from the top of my dome. And of course, the quality of an Aubameyang across two matches or across three matches, it is going to rise to the top, boys. Let's go. Zhang Yuning is nowhere to be found. Had an incredible second half in the first match, but has honestly uh, disappeared in this second one. So hopefully we can get him on the board. We're still at six points with China. See if we can maybe add an assist, maybe get himself... Uh, maybe get us up to eight points with a couple more assists to Aubameyang. I think that's how we get the points in this one. Let's go. Let's go, Ben! We're gonna get hopefully nine points! 42 pounds, are you kidding me? Stop it. For a 66 rated striker card with no stats, he's, I'm not gonna lie, he's been pretty solid. He's definitely, definitely exceeded expectations. Come on, another pen! Okay, this one has to be it. Choose your destiny. Let's go! Nine points! Victory. Zhang Yuning, representing China, up to nine points, top of the table. And there you have it, boys, a 3 0 victory in match number two. We get another goal with Zhang Yuning. Like I said, we are up to nine points. A much better, uh, much better defensive effort. Don't get an assist. We do get the goal, though. Ah, uh, to be fair, we should be up to 12. 17 shots, 11 on target. Um, we go up to six points in Division 4. And hoping for a pretty solid third match. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can tack on another maybe four points. A goal and assist in the final match would put China pretty up there on the table and would be difficult to beat. So let's get into the third and final match. Los Gates. Third and final match. We're coming up against Memphis Depay. He's got himself the 89th son at right winger. Uh, he's got Cyprien. He's got Wijnaldum. He's got David Luiz. Woo. Okay, boys. But then Gilberto, the left, with G Gilberto, the left back for, uh, for Nice. Stop it! Wait a second. Wait, Zhang Yuning. 
Hold on a damn second, bro. The ball roll? Dude, he just literally... That's more skills than I've done... Are we, are we getting a rage quit? Alright, we've got our 12 points. If we don't get another point with Zhang Yuning, I'll be fine with that. Sebastian Ludi gets us on the board. A nice little pass. Who was that? Was that Pulisic? Pulisic with the... Uh, Pulisic, Pulisic. Oh, that's painful. 45th minute, Kukman Sun. <sighs> Bro, how are you going to do this to us? At halftime, it is a pretty even match. We have a little bit of the possession. Again, we're up to 12 points uh, with Jean, uh, Jean Yuning. I don't know, come on, referee! Baumgartlinger, you son of a shit horse! Middle, 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 middle! China, Carl. Take China. 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 So at the end of the first episode, you know, we've got Jan Yuning and China sitting on top of the table. Obviously, there is no one to compete with him yet. Uh, with 12 points, scored himself four goals across three matches, which was actually way more impressive than I thought. One of them came from a pen, and then the first goal in this match might have been the most impressive of the bunch. But anyway, boys, that is episode number one of the best of the rest. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this first episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And uh, really looking forward to recording episode number two. We're going to go to the closest nation to China. Not sure which one of the, uh, which one of the nations, which one of the seven nations we have left is actually closest to China, but we will find out in episode number two. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to that. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.